Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the OP37. You can see this is operational amplifier OP37, right? So this is very important part you can use for your application that is OP37. So we will understand how this OP37 works, okay? So I will show you, I will show you the input waveform, what is the input voltage and what is the output voltage and what is the gain of this operational amplifier. How will you calculate the gain of the, this operational amplifier, right? And we will also see what is the important characteristic of OP37, okay? So let's get started. You can see here first, you need to pay attention here so you can see this is v1 and you can see v1 is plus 15 volt just right click on it and you can see the dc value for this v1 is 15 volt okay and you can also see v2 here the dc value for v2 is minus 15 so you can see this is your positive supply and this is your negative supply so v1 goes here at u1 you can see this is positive supply and this is negative supply so v1 goes here at positive supply v2 goes here at negative supply so basically i biased this operational amplifier by using two supply that is one positive supply and one negative supply and the positive voltage is 15 volt and negative voltage is minus 15 volt okay now let us understand this you can see the input since this is in terminal and your input signal goes to non-inverting terminal of of your op37 of your operational amplifier since it your input is connected non 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 inverting terminal that means plus terminal so that is why it is called you can see non inverting amplifier so what what this is called this is called non inverting amplifier okay so let me show you what is the amplitude for this input signal so you can see here this is sinusoidal signal and the amplitude is 1 volt and the frequency is 10 kilohertz so that means your input signal is connected at non-inverting terminal that means plus terminal and the amplitude for your input signal is 1 volt and 10 kilohertz so this is all about your input signal and you can see here this is minus terminal of your op amp and this is called inverting terminal and this inverting terminal connected via two resistance one is r1 which is connected to the ground and other the other one is r2 which is connected to the output of op37 so you can see here the one terminal of your r2 is tied together at the output so this is basically nothing these two resistances are the feedback resistances they are called the feedback resistance and you may need these value to calculate the gain of this operational amplifier okay i'll, I'll explain later this now you can see here is the output and it is connected via a load that is called r load and the value for this R load is 10k and you can see here I have connected the net out okay let me explain how will you calculate the gain of this amplifier in LT spice by using OP37 right by using OP37 so you can see if you know direct formula for non-inverting amplifier the formula is given by v out equals to v in into 1 plus r2 divided by r1 so this is your v in v in is 
one volt 10 kilohertz and the the v out equals to v in into 1 plus r2 divided by r1 the value of this r2 is 10k and the value of r1 is 1k and if you substitute the value of v in r2 and r1 so 1 volt into 1 plus 10k divided by 1k and let me edit it this is 1 volt right this is 1 volt and here may you may also have 1 volt okay so so 1 plus 10k divided by 1k this is the gain of your operational amplifier the gain of your operational amplifier is 11 so 1 volt into 11 you will get 11 so so not so this is this is 11 is the gain of an amplifier and your input signal is 1 volt if you multiply your input signal with the gain of your operational amplifier you will get the output signal so i will run the transient analysis and i will show you what is the your input signal and how your output signal looks like and what is the amplitude of phase and amplitude of your output signal so just click on this run button and let me show you you can see this is supply this is 15 volt you can see here at this axis this is minus 15 volt you can see this is minus 15 volt and let me show you the input signal so your input signal is 1 volt peak to peak okay so 1 volt at positive side and minus 1 volt as negative side and let me show you the output signal so you can see this is your output signal and this is your input signal so let me do it like that so your input signal is 1 volt peak to peak and your output signal is 11 volt peak to peak you can see here my cursor 11 volt peak to peak so what i have calculated here i have calculated the v out voltage is 11 volt now in the simulation you can also see the v out equals to 11 volt let me show you the frequency for v out so i will attach the cursor and i will show you the frequency so let me put it somewhere here and let me put it somewhere here and now you can see the frequency is here something around 9.91 that is around 10 kilohertz okay so so guys hope you understood how op 37 works